Hello, you cool cats and kittens. It's Mittens here for ButtCulture.com. And today we will be taking a look at Stray for the PlayStation console. Now before you sound off in the comments below, I get it. Because I'm a cat, I must have some unique perspective on cat games, right? Well, you're absolutely correct. So let's get right into it, shall we? So my first impression of this absolute sob fest is wow. No diversity. I mean, not a single ounce of cultural inclusivity. Just the utter lack of societal awareness completely breaks the immersion. I mean, an orange cat? Orange? What, are we running for American office? Oh, you can't play as a Persian cat or an African-American cat? Hell, even a trans cat! You might as well have a bloody dog as the protagonist. Oh, when you absolute daft developers think this is how all felines run about their day? Look, we just knock shite off shelves, trip robots, scratch rugs, and lick our bums raw at all hours of the night? I mean, you're putting us in a blimey box! Not even a litter box, for that matter. You know, our species is a culture, not your sick little 24 quid 99 joke. What's next, the catnip DLC? You insufferable twits. And Christ almighty, the whole cyber puke aesthetic is so overdone and totally atrocious. Especially with that auditory dialogue, I couldn't even convince myself to press the dedicated meow button because of how bonkers this- What's going on in here? Damn it, kitty! What did I tell you about playing on the damn keyboard? I told you to stop reviewing popular pieces of media! Ugh, that's it, you're going in the kennel. One time out later. Well, with uh, all that being said, I give this game 9 out of 9 lives. Utterly brilliant, and I cannot wait for a sequel. And there we go, my friends. I've been Mittens for ButtCulture.com. I hope this works out. I'm gonna look like a psychopath. I made this.